watching Let's Chat. Amid the COVID-19 outbreaks, of course, the travel plans have been greatly interrupted. Some have had to cancel, some are rescheduling. How do we know what to do and how can we look into a crystal ball for the future? Is that even possible? Here to answer all of our questions is Miss Deborah Cross. She is an owner and a travel planner with uh, Cruise Planners and American Express Travel. Good morning, Miss Deborah. Good morning. All right, tell me a little bit. I know this is kind of a, a crystal ball question. Every case is different, but what have your conversations looked like lately with your clients? Um, the majority of my clients are facing cancellations, um, two types of cancellations, one that are occurring within the next 30 days, mm -hmm. and that, then the second are those that are occurring within 90 days. What the offers from the uh, travel suppliers, be they cruise or land, are more generous when they're canceling within 30 days. If you're 90 days out, then typically you have to pay airfare cancellation fees as those fees are not waived unless it's within 30 days. So what I'm telling my clients is if you're booked 30 day, 90 days out, just wait. Let's see what the offer is because they are, tend to be getting richer the closer it is to your departure date. And if we've booked our travel with a travel agent, you know, with a travel advisor like yourself, obviously we need to start those communications now uh, to see when the best time to make a decision is. Uh, what is your best advice if someone maybe hasn't worked already with a travel agent or advisor? The best thing that they can do is um, check if, they, if they're thinking of canceling, call the supplier. Now, it is extremely long wait times uh, to get to a specific suppliers. I've had people report to me, and I know I have personally experienced waiting for eight hours uh, to mm -hmm. get through to somebody at, let's say, a particular cruise line. Uh, so you're just going to need to set aside time and make that call instead of, you know, having the travel agent do that for you. And then determine what that particular travel supplier is offering you in terms of future travel or future cruise credits as the airline waiving the change fees. You will have to, to take your time to work through that with the supplier. Um, so it just takes some time. If you're persistent and you stay on top of it, then you will work out to get the best possible value or return for your money. Is there an answer right now about how far in advance we need to look at canceling or rescheduling our vacations? Uh, if you have not booked, okay, uh, let me give you just some general information. And even if you have booked, this is very good information that you should be on top of. I would say please check out uh, first travel.state.gov because it lists by country whether or not uh, travel to that country is recommended. And right now the U.S. State Department is advising all U.S. citizens to avoid all international travel at this time. Even countries where cases have not been reported may restrict travel without notice. Um, within the United States, there have been discussions by the airlines with the government as to whether or not U.S. air travel will be shut down or not. So please check 72 hours and then again 24 hours prior to your flight departure to make sure that your flight is still taking off. The other resource they should check is cdc.gov forward slash coronavirus. That provides travel health notices depending on the situation in that destination. Now, COVID-19 is rapidly evolving situation and CDC guidance is reviewed daily and updated frequently. Uh, so right now, when it comes to cruise travel, remember I just covered international travel, they are recommending that travelers, particularly older adults and people with any um, serious chronic medical condition defer all cruise ship travel, including river cruise ship travel worldwide until that notice is lifted. We do not know when that notice would be lifted because, as again the CDC says, this is a rapidly evolving situation and they're updating their guidance on a daily basis. All right, I want to leave us on a positive note. What about looking forward into the future? Is now a good time to book 
future travel? If so, when would you say we can start booking that? Can we book trips for this fall, or what do we need to do? I, I am taking bookings at the same time I'm de working through a lot of cancellations. Most of my, I would say 95% of my clients that are booking right now are booking for 2021. We are saying this is not a cancellation, this is a postponement, and they are looking forward to taking this trip. So um, I would say beginning, most people are booking beginning March of 2021 forward. All right, perfect. And of course, if any reason at all, the conversation that we just had should encourage you to book with a local travel agent, travel advisor like Miss Deborah, because she can handle everything for you and help you navigate these tricky waters if this situation were to arrive again. Miss Deborah, thanks so much for joining us.